Now I'd like to make this public service announcement to all uh, traveling musicians. Do not fly with Shaman Airlines um, because their policy regarding musical instruments is unlike any other airline that I've flown with so far. According to the website, you can carry on any musical instrument as long as it is under 100 centimeters long and 40 centimeters wide, which is just under a typical length of a guitar gig bag. And even after calling the Shaman Airlines uh, helpline, nobody could really give me a definite answer if a regular guitar gig bag is uh, going to be allowed on the plane or not. And here is the other uh, <laughs> deal breaker. If you have to check your instrument in, you're going to have to pay for oversized slash excess baggage, even if you don't have any other checked baggage with you. If I travel with a guitar and I need to check that in, that's not part of my free baggage. Especially Well, th that's the thing, like I, I fly other airlines mm -hmm. and this is the first time I encountered like even if I don't have anything else, I still have to pay for the instrument. If I fly Philippine Airlines, it's part of my free baggage in oh, Eva right. Air. Right. Yeah. So your musical instrument is not considered part of the two-piece free baggage allowance. And the fee is like 150 US dollars one way. So if I brought my guitar on Shaman Airlines, I would have to pay 150 heading over to Korea and another 150 flying back to LA. <laughs> now at this point, it was already too late to change airlines or to buy another ticket uh, on another airline. So let me show you a hack that I did so that I could bring my guitar with me, even with that uh, baggage restriction. Okay, there it is. So, in a pinch, you can actually unbolt your guitar neck and keep them separate and it will fit into any regular uh, suitcase. Just make sure that you wrap the neck carefully so that it's cushioned while it is being jostled around inside uh, the suitcase. And the body of the guitar is inside the padded gig bag. Of course, you also need to bring a tool kit, which I have in this handy little pouch right here. Everything I need to put the guitar back together is in this pouch. Let's lay everything down on the bed. So, multi-tool, string winder, Allen wrench set, and of course your Phillips screwdriver. I might need to change strings later. This is my Kirk Magan signature set. Um, we'll see how the strings held up uh, during transport. A <laughs> nail clipper. I made sure to tape up the springs. These are the ARM guitar tremolo springs with thermodynamics and these are the neck bolt screws and again they're all taped together so that they're not loose and moving around in case it's my strap uh, I won't need that right now let's take the guitar out and there's the guitar body now this is probably the most delicate part of this hack because you want to take care of the guitar neck of course otherwise if the neck is broken then you really don't have a guitar and the neat part about this is since this Norseman has a Floyd Rose I didn't even need to take the strings off come on tape 
let go. Okay, everything is intact. No cracks, no breaks. Added bonus, my group gear fret wrap held the strings in place. And the Floyd Rose gets an extra layer of padding, which I will take out. There you go. There it is. <laughs> okay, let's put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So what I'm gonna do first is put the Floyd Rose in, right? Then taking care that the strings are in the correct orientation and they have not twisted, we are going to slide the neck into its pocket. There you go. Okay, now that we have slid the neck into its pocket, we're gonna flip the guitar over and install the neck bolts. Okay, oh, my ferrules fell out, but not a big deal. Just pop them back in. Make sure that you are putting the right screw in the right hole. Since this is an all axis neck joint or something similar, um, the two back screws are longer than the two front screws. So you gotta make sure that you're using the right ones. And I am installing them in a crisscross manner. So I'm gonna install this back screw first, then go to a front screw, then back screw, then another front screw. The way all the tensions are evened out. <laughs> Now make sure the screws are nice and tight and we will fine tune the tensions later on once we have some string tension. Okay, uh, let me just grab the whammy bar just to make this next part a little easier. Okay, double check your Floyd Rose and make sure that the knife edge is seated squarely onto the trim posts. And then from here, we are going to install the trim springs. And this is where the whammy bar comes in a little handy so that you can pull the bar in and it makes it easier to hook the springs onto the claw and the tremolo block. And then with your pliers, make sure that all the springs are seated nice and tight. Okay. Now here's the most interesting part. I traveled with the Floyd Rose locks uh, intact. I did not loosen this in any way. So all I did was remove the springs from the back. Now we've reinstalled everything. And here's the beauty of the Floyd Rose. It is still in tune. Maybe it needs a little fine tuning, but not much. It's not like you're going to need to reset everything <laughs> as soon as you put everything back together. So only the D string was a little off. There it is, ready to gig. Now I've used this hack in the past to be able to bring an extra guitar uh, when I am already uh, at my baggage limit. So let's say I already have a guitar checked in and I managed to, let's say, pick up another guitar <laughs> during my travels. I make sure that it's a bolt on so that I can pull it apart, make sure everything's padded and stuff it into my suitcase. However, this is the first time I have had to do this hack because of uh, airline regulation, uh, which is, it doesn't really make sense because if Shaman Airlines did not have that uh, baggage policy, I would have checked this guitar in using my Enki case. So instead of checking in two baggages, I would have just gotten away with one. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, guitar travel hack video. If you have any guitar travel hacks of your own, please feel free to share them in the comment section below. And of course, let me know what you think about all this stuff. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, 
feel free to share it with your friends and if you haven't yet please subscribe okay i'm gonna put away all this stuff and grab a quick power map before uh tonight's show so i'll see you guys again soon and remember practice makes perfecto cheers <laughs>